of D.C. as a state rep, and I had a little power, had basically moved up the ranks on the Democratic side. The long and short is that when you're voting, you come out and say, hey, listen, I get this bill, this is my thinking. Too often, you get a you get a message from the speaker, or you get a message from your party saying, you have to vote this way. Well, when I was there, believe it or not, you actually had a little choice. Now, Scott, you're going you're gonna to laugh and say, oh, no, well, you guys always won. But that's not always the case. And what I liked about Scott Brown is that whenever you were tight on a vote, whenever you really needed to vote, you'd say, okay, tell me about it. Instead of just taking a Republican view and just saying, or Democratic view, and saying, I'm going to be a rubber stamp and vote that way, he'd just say, okay, what are you trying to do? What does this do? How does it hurt me? How does it hurt my constituents? How does it hurt the state? All the right questions. And this is what's integral and what's missing down in D.C. from what I see. You have one party versus the other, and you all start going into like a ruck. You all start fighting each other. And instead of sitting back and saying, okay, yeah, we have differences, but what's our commonality? Scott Brown looks at that commonality. That's why I'm here. 20 years, two towns over, Democrat, and yet, I'm coming out for him, not just because he's a Republican size guy, but because he's a nice guy and he thinks. And that's what's missing down D.C., people who think and won't go party line. I hate to bring this up, but you've heard the stuff about Aiken, another part of the country. And what's the response, the Democratic response? Oh, Scott's part of that. What? Is that how we think?